My name is Gavin Semple, I'm 24, I'm from Warrigal, Victoria, but my mob is Darawal up in Camden, New South Wales. I've always wanted to do comedy, that's something I've always wanted to do since high school. But Deadly Funny was always something that I never really had in mind because at the moment when I first started I just wanted to get my foot in the door in comedy itself and then once I had my foot in the door then Deadly Funny was something that I would broaden my career with. I dropped out of law school to do comedy. So my dad isn't a fan, he still isn't, he's not here today. I, uh, I've always wanted to perform at a venue like the Forum, you know, I've seen, I've seen like shows like Daniel Sloss and such at that venue, so I, I've always wanted to get up there myself. So just the ability to be able to perform to a huge crowd, a willing crowd, you know, can't say no to that. Keep that big round of applause going, give it up for Gavin Sempo! We're all out, we're all fucking, COVID's done, we're done, we've moved on. I still got my bloody booster, I don't know why I got that. But give us a, anyone got their bloody booster? Yeah. Nice man, I got it. I still caught it, I still caught COVID because I live in Victoria. <laughs> you know, if you haven't caught it by now, you need to be diagnosed as a fucking loser, dude. What the hell are you, <laughs> the hell are you doing, dude? Fucking been here for two years. <laughs> I caught it because I left the house. That is the criteria. That is, I walked out my front door, I got a text straight away saying, turn back around for seven days. You fucking, you sit your ass inside. You don't move. You fucking, you take that cough like a man. <laughs> I caught it. It fucks me up, because I look like this. I don't know how I made it out alive. I am. I'm a fucking poster boy for vaccines. That's what I am, fucking. Anyone who doesn't believe it, man, send them my way. I'll show them. They work. I had four today. They work. They keep me alive, baby. <laughs> nah, I should have died, man. I know because my friends told me every day. Oh, that's this guy still fucking going, baby. <laughs> but the worst part, the worst part about getting the Rona was how my dad was going to feel. Imagine someone you don't believe in catching something you don't believe in. Like, it must have just blown. <laughs> I fucking fucked him up, man. <laughs> I, uh, I'm a proud Darrow old man. I am. Uh, my father is an Aboriginal German man. Or do I look like this? <laughs> I don't know what this is. I look like if Dobby got into your dad's liquor. That's what I look like. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. But the thing is, whenever I tell people my background, they don't believe me, right? Particularly comedians I work with or audience members, they don't believe me. That's fine, that's ignorant, you ignore that. But when your own mob don't believe you, you're fucked, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I know this, because before fucking COVID happened, I went to my first Koori knockout as an adult without my dad, and someone thought I was a reporter. <laughs> now, fuck that, is it? <laughs> I walked up and brother boy was like, you fucking seven, nine or 10, bruh? <laughs> I was like, as complimenting as that is, I'm a fucking four, dude. Let's be honest, fucking. I will take a 10. <laughs> Last year was rough, man. It was, we all fucking suffered. I was broken up with in lockdown. Anyone else? Thank, didn't want to be alone tonight. That's fine. <laughs> right on, fucking. I was seeing this American girl and uh, it was, it was fucked. It was. It wasn't her first rodeo, right? But I, this is the first time I was in a relationship as an adult. Also, first time sleeping with somebody. I'm sorry if I gave off alpha vibes this whole time. But, uh, <laughs> I am sorry to disappoint more than one person. That is. Hey guys, you've been amazing. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you very much. Bye.